to say that today, uh, be, be though it's rainy, we, are, we have a lot of exciting news we want to share, and nothing that we're doing today would be possible without partnerships. Those partnerships, private-public partnerships, have been key to our success here. Um, it's been well over four years, and I know many of you have said, you know, what's going on at Westridge? They're moving a lot of dirt, but we don't see anything going <laughs> vertical. That's all about to change. I think you see it changed as changed today uh, with the facility we're in, and you're going to see a lot more to come. So I'd like to first thank our partners, um, thank the members of the Mon County Commission who are here today. Certainly we appreciate your efforts um, without you, without the state DOH, and without the West Virginia Department of Commerce and the support of the governor and his staff. Um, all of this would not be possible um, that we are here for today, so thank you. This is a dynamic mixed-use development of just over a thousand acres um, right along the I-79 high-tech corridor. So it's something that the governor and the state has promoted for a long time as the development of this corridor, and we're excited to be a part of that. The development company for Westridge um, has had a long family history in Morgantown, and the development team, including myself, are all native West Virginians who've come back home to make something great happen in our state, and we're all really excited about that. We're all thrilled to really be able to provide a location for businesses for our home state and for the Morgantown region. And we're offering a solution to the number one challenge facing businesses today, which is the shortage of workforce. Um, West Virginia University is less than 10 minutes away from Westridge, and for that reason, and many others, um, Lidos was excited to, to locate here. Um, they have access to more than 6,500 graduates per year coming out of West Virginia University. So they will grow and thrive in this building that we're in today, which is part of a 70-acre parcel known as the Westridge Commerce Center. So this neighborhood, this area, um, is the Westridge Commerce Center, and I'm going to talk just a little bit about our Commerce Center. It's our flex park, so buildings like this that are pre-engineered metal buildings that then can be customized uh, for the companies are going to be throughout this area. Um, they'll all offer branded space for each company, so customized space, just as this has been for Lidos. Um, affordable business location, will have easy access to I-79, of course. A diverse tenant mix, so lots of different tenants. We're really getting a lot of interest now, um, and I, you know, I think we're going to see more of that from the high-tech uh, folks coming along. We'll have adjacent retail and restaurants, which I'm going to talk about in just a minute, and ample parking and outdoor amenities like trails and um, lots of things for people to do outside. Westridge Commerce Center features a 100,000 square foot FedEx distribution center, so that was our first project at, West, at Westridge, and more than 70,000 square feet, including this 30,000 square feet of flex office building. So all of this um, has been built with our, is our first phase of Westridge Commerce Center. And then we have 40 acres of large pad sites um, in, the, in the back of the Commerce Center as well. And that's available for future logistics distribution, advanced manufacturing, and light industrial uses. All things we're working very closely with the governor and the Department of Commerce on. I can add a whole lot to all that, but uh, you know, it, it's incredible if you just think about it. You know, a thousand acre project right off the interstate you know west ridge has i guess been in the in the infancy and now it's getting ready to explode and you got to be so proud i mean i commend all those that are a part of this in every way i mean it's just unbelievable you know uh, i know of menards you know i surely know of lighthouse and nvb and steptoe and johnson and on and on and on what you're doing but just think about this. You know, we know this area is doing great stuff, as I said before. But I don't, I don't like, you know, repeating myself. And so I, I won't, as you know, as or or, or, or or I will do as little as I can. Here's the real straight skin. The people in the outside world are just awakening to the fact that West Virginia now, instead of being the state that was maybe backward or, or you know, and I've said it this way a lot of times, you know, where we, we had to go out and kill a deer every day just to feed the kids at school. You know, we're not that state. We're the state that they some way missed in a lot of ways. And you're doing unbelievable stuff here, and there's areas of our state that can't get off the ground. I mean, you know, they're just still having a really tough go of it. But West Virginia in general, not 
not right, right here. West Virginia in general is now becoming the diamond in the rough that people miss. It's becoming the opportunity place. The, the state that abounds, I've said it so many times, abounds in natural resources like crazy. It's within a rock's throw of two-thirds of the population. It's got these incredible seasons. It's got incredible, incredible people. Now, the thing that we had to do is just this. We can't rely on one natural resource. We can't rely on the fact that, or we can't not try to develop all of our possibilities, whether it be high tech or, or higher ed, or whether it be our gas industry or our coal industry or timber industry or water industries, so many different things that we have right at our fingertips in West Virginia. Tourism has exploded. We, but we just keep pumping out more positive and more positive numbers. As you do that, I'll promise you, your job becomes easier and easier. That's all there is to it. Because all of a sudden, people want to come. You're, not, you're going to have a hard time beating them away and everything. Not only do you have the compounding of everything that you have here that's good, you really do. But you now have a state that's really on the move, too. So all I can do is congratulate you. You know, I said it at the last place, the last stop. You know, our, our Department of Transportation is going to do, get, enter into basically a partnership with the county and everything, the county commission and everything, to do something that has to be done. For crying out loud, you've got to be able to get to this new aquatic center and all the different stuff that we're doing. But at the end of the day, it's just as simple as this. I say it over and over. I'm not a business guy. I mean, I'm not a politician. I'm a business guy. And when you put the blocks together business-wise, they work. They really work. So I can congratulate you over and over and over because, and I can do it very sincerely, you're doing lots of good stuff. And you're doing lots of exciting stuff. And you need to be congratulated. And so what we need to do is take a lot of the stuff that you've got in the playbook that you've got and maybe employ that into different areas of our state that can maybe learn a whole lot from you on, on learning and running the place. We've still got lots of challenges, but we're better. We're better.